What's going on guys? I hope all of you are doing great. I uh, made a video for you last week that said I'm getting back to my weekly videos and I figured why not start with something that you guys love to see. Um, I have plenty of them on my channel, but a lot of you like to see updates if anything has changed, what's said the same, vice versa. So I figured I'll just make a quick video for y'all today and that is basically on my EDC, my everyday carry. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am no longer in law enforcement. I have been out for almost a year and I own my own company now and I'm also a real estate agent and do some other stuff. Um, so I've been very busy and kind of not really, appearance has changed here and there. Um, I just let the showing while I go and I try to dress somewhat nice for showing. So I'm in uh, cargo shorts, a collared shirt right now. Um, usually my hair is short, I have a hat on and just today I just kind of brushed it and actually washed it, haircuts tomorrow. But yeah, so as far as my appearance, um, I was wearing a lot of gun clothes. Um, I still do here and there, but my mindset has changed about how try to be a gray man, try to be less. If you're walking around with guns on your shirt, probably screams, hey, he's got a gun. My thoughts have kind of changed now. We're gonna be doing lots of updated videos because my thoughts have changed a little bit. Still a gun advocate, still love my guns, firearms. You see the new stuff behind me and all that. So we will go into that stuff later. I like to rant, you know that. So right now we will be moving on of what I carry. And guys, this is a lot different than last time. I am trying to be a minimalist. So moving down, like I said, clothes wise, not the too fancy collared shirt and my cargo shorts for today. And then I'm wearing Hey Dudes. So real quick, I am carrying appendix. I do have a firearm on me like I still always do. There's not many times where I don't have my gun on me unless I'm in gym clothes. So as you can see in these shirts really help with printing, with not printing. So yeah, if you're an everyday person, could probably not tell that I have a gun. I mean, the shirt is a little baggy, so yes, I wear tight clothes still. It's a little tight, but as you can see, this shirt's perfect for carrying and I will always carry appendix. I'll get the camera moved up just a little bit so you don't have to stare at my crotch the whole time. Um, real quick, this is all I'm carrying. I'm just gonna show you the belt real quick. Um, I'll take this off and I'll show you what I'm carrying, but this is how I'm carrying right now. And still the same thing for the last, I don't know, four or five years. I'm still rocking the blue alpha gear, the belt, the blue force gear belt. I'm still rocking this. I keep saying I'm gonna buy another one, a gray one. Man, guys, I'm just lazy and this has been working and it's, it's held up so much now. I mean, it has been great. As you can see, it is still holding its, its form and its shape. So if it works, why replace it? As far as the gun and holster, I'm running a Glock 43X MOS um, and a TXC holster. I do have where I can have an extra mag with me in the holster, so, and I do have a shield mag. So let's go ahead and take off this holster. And yes, this is loaded. I'm tired of seeing people all on YouTube of safety checks and everything else. Guys, this is loaded. This is my everyday carry gun. This is what I carry on me every day. It's beside me, whatever it is. This is with me every day. It's a little dusty as you can see right now. Um, so 43X MOS. And I am running a Shields Optic, the RMSC. Um, Love-hate relationship with that. It's very small. I know the halls and you can change up the reticles and everything else. Um, and this was ex more expensive. I just like the thin profile on this. So everything is basically stock, stock trigger. I do run stock triggers on most of my carry guns. This, for the longest time, was not. I was not carrying it. I was carrying the 365, and that got retired months ago after I got the shield mags. I'm running a 15 round shield mag uh, with um, gold dots. That is what I prefer, that or critical horn, uh, Hornady Critical Duty. That is the only two carry ammo I use. Now, a lot of y'all are gonna probably bash on that ammo. Guys, that is the ammo that I used when I was in law enforcement. That is the two we used, and that's the two I have used the most and tested the most. So I know the ballistics on that, and that's just what I prefer. Um, I don't carry no crazy exotic ammo. That's, Whatever you like, use it. There's plenty of great other options out there for carry ammo. Yeah, other than that, RMSC on here. Um, I stippled this myself. There's no one filming me, by the way. It's just me, so freak, don't freak out. 
um, regular stock trigger, and I do have these little blue pins in here. Um, I got these from my buddy's company, Ghost uh, Armament. Pretty cool. So yeah, that is my carry choice, and I did add a um, the S15 uh, mag release because you do need a aluminum one. The polymer from the Glock, it's not going to really work, and there's been a lot of issues with these. Uh, so as far as the hold for this is the TXC. Um, I have used many holsters. These are kind of what I'm leaning to. I have used the um, Lucas's, the T-Rex holsters, and I have used Tier 1 Concealed. Um, tier 1 Concealed TXC, that's kind of what I've used the most, but the TXC has been my go-to. Got it multicam, black multicam's favorite color. And this does bend very well the, uh, to your body. I do like this. The only complaint about having this holster is, these things, no matter how much you tighten them down, each time I carry, even for a day, even for four hours, whatever I'm going on the day during showings, this always comes loose and this will start to spin. I just had to tighten it up again for the second time today. Um, as far as spare mag, I just keep the regular 10 round magazine. And like I said about my ammo, I have critical Hornady, uh, Hornady critical duty in here, 10 rounds for my spare magazine. All right, so let's go to my left pocket. Still, same thing I've said in my last couple of years of EDC. I do not carry anything in the back pocket, in any of my back pockets, but one thing. And guys, that is one thing that I have got rid of, probably seen by the thumbnail picture. I don't have one, well, I do have them, but I am not very big on carrying them anymore. Um, yes, there's pros and cons to them. I'm just trying to be more of a minimalist right now. I know people say, well, you need this. If you're gonna carry a gun, you need a tourniquet. If you are gonna carry a gun at night, you need light. Guys, I've heard it all, I understand that. It's just what I prefer. But as of right now, I have not been carrying a flashlight for months. Um, at the movie theaters, I have grabbed one out of my truck real quick and put in my back pocket. That is another story, but if I'm at the movies, I do not have a light. That is not the only time I have a flashlight on me. Um, will I carry one again? Maybe. I'm just getting tired of having bulky items in my pockets. I carry everything in my front, left, and right pocket, and I don't like sitting on anything or being uncomfortable or anything in my back pocket where someone can grab, it gets caught, it's torn my seat before, vice versa. So that is one thing that is out of my EDC. I no longer carry a flashlight. Um, I will grab one, though, out of my console when I go to the movies, but that is about it. So, moving on to front pockets that I've always carried myself in. I've used yes, bulky pockets, that's okay, I don't care. Um, I just tell people I got a lot of package, whatever. Um, as far as keys, this is a little different too. Um, and we'll talk about that in another video. I have two sets of keys on me because I'm in a rental right now. Um, I just sold my truck two weeks ago and I sold my little everyday, uh, my everyday beater car, I want to call it a beater car, I hate calling that, but my little everyday cheaper car. I saw both of those um, on a Thursday and a Friday, so I'm in a rental until my new vehicle comes, and we'll talk about that in another video and kind of what's been going on with me. So as far as keys, this is very bulky right now because this, I cannot cut it and it stays with two keys on it, so I'm in a little Hyundai accent right now, and as far as this, house keys, mailbox keys, gym keys, Lockbox keys, handcuff keys, keys you don't really care about. Next thing in my left pocket would be, let's see, and sometimes I have my AirPods with me. That is one thing I carry, and they're actually right there on the charger. Um, that is one thing I do carry in my pocket 95% of the time now. Just with me on the phone a lot, I do have my AirPods on me 90, 95% of the time. They're over there on the charger, though. Wallet. Wallet has changed and wallet is a little thicker. You guys know I don't like thick wallets, but I like to change up stuff here and there and sometimes my taste change. So as far as wallet, my fiance got me this. Uh, this is called a Dango, I believe, and it is the 007. Um, you see it's pretty thick right now. I carry cash usually only like a 20, a couple 20s or 150 right there. Right now, don't know why. I have a lot of fives and ones. I'm not one of strip club. I don't know what this was from, but I have a lot of fives and ones, so I just kind of stuck it right there. I don't usually carry much cash on that because I'm very lucky enough to even have twenty to hundred dollars on me. I'm just I don't carry cash. It's usually put up in my bank. Um, but yeah, so as far as the wallet, though, this is something I actually really like that I've switched in my EDC. This wallet is great for what I do with video ideas with. Um, real estate with my work, if I do client calls or if I need to do something quick, I use my phone 99% of the time of 
my EDC. What I carry the most, usually your phone is the most thing you use. Um, as far as wallet though, this is cool. Um, I said it has the 007, the D007 card stand there. And this is really why I wanted this wallet. It has a notepad with it. And I do have other, I do have others so you can buy the, just the notepads and pen refills. But you have the notepad there. And then what's pretty cool is right here, you have your pen. So I do use this and I do like this a lot. Um, something like it's, it's different, but it gets used. So yeah, as far as a wallet, that is kind of why I switched up. It's got a notepad on it and my fiance always laughs about me on my notes, my phone, which I still use more than this and I have something else now that I use. But if I have an idea or a client or anything going on, um, I have so much going on now, it's hard for me to remember. So I am very a firm believer of pen to paper or at least typing in my notes. And the last thing in my left pocket, yes, still, I carry literally 90% of my stuff that I carry on me in my left pocket, kind of why I don't have my flashlights, it's in my left back pocket. Um, and I only have one thing in my right pocket. The last thing, this has switched a little bit. I have been carrying a little bit different knife, uh, out the front knife, but right now I am just carrying a Spyderco Para 3. And yes, it looks brand new because I've not carried this one that much. I just switched it. I have a little beater knife that I've used the most opening packages or whatever I need to do or mail. Um, but I wanted to switch it up because this little guy has not got the love it deserved. So yeah, that is my la last thing in my left pocket. And the last thing that I carry on me is the most used thing. And right now, it is not my pocket because I'm trying to see myself in. If I'm center, is my cell phone. I still have the 11 Pro Max um, that I carry. Will I get a new phone? Maybe I kind of want the 14, but I'm kind of taking a new approach of buying things. But I might get the 14 later on because I'm still using my camera to film and not my phone. That camera's been great. And I'm gonna get another vlog camera soon. So as far as all of my EDC items, like I said, this one is the most that is used. Without my phone, I cannot function. I cannot work. Um, emergency, trying to get a hold of my fiance, family members, YouTube ideas, everything else. This is literally the most tool that is used. So guys, I know I have plenty of EDC gear videos out here. Um, I just like to switch it up because you guys like them. I like watching them on YouTube and just kind of use some content right now for you guys to view because I have been MIA for, it's not even been six months, it's been like eight, nine months. Um, like I said, the, the Tommy Built video, that was filmed back in I think February or March and then just stuff happened. Um, the next video coming up after a couple days after this one, it might be the day after or the next. Um, I'm actually about to film that, kind of talk about why I've been gone and go a little bit further into detail. So it's not gonna be a gun video, but guys, if you support this channel, I really recommend you watching that one to see what has happened and kind of what we are gonna do moving forward and what I am doing. YouTube, this channel is not going anywhere. My plan and goal is to grow this channel and some things happen in my life where I got set back. Um, that we do go through setbacks, so, but I'm not gonna rant anymore about that. That is for next video. But guys, I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Um, quick little EDC, please post your EDC down below what you carry. I love hearing what people carry. I'm not a person that judges of, oh, you carry that. Guys, it's personal preference. If you use it and you like it, I mean, that's one thing about YouTube I don't like is you're always getting judged. We can have opinions, but guys, let's be nice about it on here. There's too much going on and hate in this world to be bashing each other. I do want to hear what you guys are carrying right now at this moment. If you could like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to me already. And also, guys, hit that bell notification down below. I am back. Yes, I'm focused. I'm back. This channel will continue going weekly. I don't want to say twice a week because I'm doing a lot of stuff right now. You guys are going to find out about it in the next video and the next couple coming up. But yeah, big things are coming. Guys, I do appreciate it. I'll leave a link to my Instagram account down below. Um, I'll throw my Patreon account down below. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I have not used Patreon. Um, so, scratch, I'm not even going to put Patreon on there um, until a little bit later on because I'm not going to keep advertising it. If to be honest, I'm not even doing anything on it. Um, I'm not going to tell you to waste your time. But as far as Instagram, I'll leave a link to that below because I'm very productive on Instagram. Um, I have a lot of them, but guys, yeah. Done ranting. Guys, I appreciate it. And as always, y'all have a good one.